Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mr. Clockwork Apple and uh, I decided I'm gonna play something from my childhood. Um, Game Boy Advance game that I used to really enjoy <laughs> is The Sims Bustin' Out. Uh, it's actually where I first experienced The Sims, or yeah I think it was, my first ever Sims game. Um, so I'll start by making our character. I think I might use my real name here. I mean, this is supposed to be me I'm playing as, so there we go, there's my real name. Uh, make it look a bit like me. Uh, well, first off, I'm a dude. Skin tone, pale. Hairstyle, uh, I have the hat actually. Hair colour. Actually, no, let's just see what other styles are. Hair colour, sort of a messy brownish hair. Yeah, actually I actually won't bother with the hat. Uh, shirt. I wear mostly black shirts. Nice dark blue jeans and what colour shoes? Uh, let's see. Yeah. Nice grey shoes. That'll, that'll do. That's me, I think. Okay, uh, my stats. So this sort of um, determines a few things in the game. Best option is just put them all... Roughly average, I'd say. Just... You want them sort of like this, because otherwise... If you leave one too low, like if you have messy too low, I think you have to shower more often and stuff like that, so... Put them all average, that's what I'll do. And I am a Leo. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be me. Okay, welcome to Sim Valley. I'm so excited to have you over the summer. We may not be as big as Sim City. <laughs> Trademark. Did he write that in the letter? But we've got twice the character. Come see me as soon as you arrive, Uncle Hayseed. Hey, there I am. And there's Uncle Hayseed. Uh, first things first. Where did these bales come from? <laughs> they weren't there two seconds ago. Let's uh, talk to our uncle. Morning, Uncle. I uh, see, I made it. Good. And uh, we're going to have a great time here, apparently. Uh, do we need any help playing the game? Sure, why not? Uh, a few basic hints. Press A to do stuff. Okay. Yeah, what objects can I use? If it has an arrow, I can use it. If I press start, I get my goals, my popularity, and my pockets. Yeah, I think I got all that. Okay, speaking of family, didn't my mother send me with a little gift and to get acquainted before running off and making new friends? Yeah, how do I do that? Give things to Sims by telling them you have something for them. Easy as that. Get acquainted by basically talking with them. As uh, so that meter on the right is how friendly someone is with us and the higher we get it, the more they like us. So I start by giving him the family album. So, a dusty old photo album of your family and some of their more glorious, memorable, and embarrassing moments. There we go. So now we need to do some nice things. Um, how about a hug? Yeah, give my uncle a hug. So, basically we're going to have to give him compliments based on stuff he likes. So, um, I bet he does understand crop rotation. <laughs> and let's tell him a joke. There you go, so we got him above 30, that's all we needed. Yeah, it's a nice place you have here. Uh, getting used to my surroundings. Um, oh yeah, I think I'm settling in just fine. So we need to get something to eat, we need to rest and clean ourselves up because we smell like old dust and new hay. You're the coolest of my 11 uncles. <laughs> Okay, so we've got some goals, and we are hungry as well. So let's check our goals. Uh, first we had meet Uncle Hayseed, but we did that already. Find something to eat, take a nap, take a shower. Fairly easy goals. Uh, we can see our popularity page. Um, there's Uncle Hayseed. A warm and friendly man. Uncle Hayseed is your dad's, or possibly mum's, older brother. <laughs> so I don't even know how I'm related to him. Uh, I've got nothing in my inventory, um... There's some collectibles here, but we'll get into those later. And no money either. Let's take a wander into the house. Now, first things first is we're hungry. I'm going to make some lunch. Uh, 
Uh, just spending time in the house raises our home meter, I guess. Eating raises our food meter. Yes, yeah, so we're now nice and fed. Uh, I'm going to use the bathroom because our toilet meter is a bit low. you think using the bathroom would empty our toilet meter, but no, it fills it up. Now we'll take a quick shower. Getting nice and clean. And let's take a nap on the couch. You can use the uh, couch or the bed. I'm just going to use the couch because I don't feel like using the bed. There we go. We're reasonably well rested now. Yeah, all cleaned up. There we get to move into the barn. Nice. Uh, where's your backyard? Okay, let's go through the house. Let's run. Uh, hold B to run. Just move a bit faster. All right. So let's see what we got out here. Uh, decorate the barn with the wooden chicken. Bring the uncle's broken TV to the barn. Broken fridge, old couch, and bed. So we're going to put the furniture in our pocket. Don't know how the bed fits in the pocket. But there it does. In it goes. There's a squirrel there. I don't think you can do anything with a squirrel. Okay, picked all the stuff up. Now we're heading to the barn. Because uh, it's past six, the music has gone. Well, mostly gone, but. I don't think by that clucking, there's a chicken in here. So now we decorate. All right, I will start with the bed. Uh, you can press L to rotate. I'm going to pop the bed in the corner there. Uh, I'm going to actually press L to change that menu there. Um, I like to keep it up personally. I'll put the chicken uh, up in that corner there. We already got a phone, but we got no one to f no one to actually call, so I won't bother with that. Uh, let's see, put the couch there. Uh, if you actually approach something and press R, you can change the colour. I think I'll leave that how it is. Uh, a nice red bed, I think. Okay, fridge. Um, sometimes the isometric viewpoint messes with me a bit, but you get used to it. And television. Have it facing the couch. There we go. And uh, you can come through this door here, and there's a toilet. If you want it. Okay, all the furniture's in. That's good. The television and the fridge could use a little tweaking. What do you mean, tweaking? Ah, they're broken. So we'll see if we can fix them, and while we're in a fixing mood, tune up the tractor as well. Yeah, we can do that. Okay, so if I go into my um, popular myself page, at the bottom there we've got six skills. Cooking, mechanical, creativity, body, logic, charisma. Uh, you'll need to, you need to raise those up to do certain tasks. So let's start by tuning up the tractor. This will raise our mechanical skill. Unfortunately, we just got to sit by and <laughs> wait for it to fill. So a bit slower now when it gets a lot slower later. That is a... I'm going to make you sit through it now. I think later on I'll either do it off screen or fast forward because that can take a while for the later levels. Okay, so we're nice. We've done that and got a point in mechanical. Um, we can actually do it again with the tractor. You can do it twice. So we might as well do it while we're here. Yeah, see, it's already slower. But, you know, we'll get the tractor nice and tuned up. And getting the skills now saves having to do it later, so, you know, good thing to do. Well, isn't this riveting? <laughs> oh, 
oh man this is actually getting awkward uh yeah i'll definitely fast through fast forward through all this stuff later on but for now you have to suffer with me okay so we can't do it a third time but we can admire the tractor so yeah look at that job we did we did a good job of that tractor Yeah, so let's tune up the tractor, and now we go fix the TV and the fridge. Sometimes when repairing things, you can get electrocuted. Um, later on, that will land you in the hospital. I think for the if it happens here, you just wake up in um, wake up in your uncle's house. I think the higher your mechanical skill, the less likely it is to happen. So that's why it's worth tuning up the tractor twice just to get that extra point. And we'll fix the telly as well while we're here. Apparently we're fixing the leg, not the actual screen. <laughs> Is that a coyote in the background? I don't really want a coyote. Okay, so now we go talk to our uncle, but it's a bit late, so I think I'll see him in the morning, I think. Have a nice rest. Uh, day starts at 6, ends at 6, so let's wait for 6. There we go. Well, we smell now, so now we need a shower. Let's probably go do that before we talk to him. Um, actually, I can use this to show off. If you try and talk to someone when your stats are too low, yeah, <laughs> you can't talk to him. We smell too bad to have a chat, so um, have a quick wash. Get our pits nice and sweat free. There we go. Um, actually, one thing I'll show off. You can interact with this drawer here to change the colour of your clothes. So there's a... You know, if you want a different coloured shirt or something, you can do that. Anyway, running smoothly now. Learn how to use the lawnmower. Hey, we can get paid. Yeah, I can get paid. So we can only mow the lawn between 5 and 7, or his neighbours will complain. Uh, good news, the locusts didn't <laughs> bypass us. So now we've got our first job. Mow the lawn, get a promotion. First thing, I think I'll use the bathroom, because I don't want to wet myself on the mower. I don't like how my character stares at the screen when I do that. Okay, so this here is a job banner, I guess you call it. Job sign. So A to move forward, left and right to steer. Don't mow over the flowers. Rocks cause you to spin, but that's okay. It doesn't actually do anything. It just slows you down a bit. So for each weed we mow, we get two simoleons. Uh, nope, there's the flowers. Don't mow them or you lose money. So the higher... During jobs, you get promotions. At the minute, it's fairly easy. We're only getting a little bit of money with each weed, though. The higher promotions you get, the more difficult the challenge will become. But you get paid more. So I think by the time you reach the end of it, you're earning like... 20-something a weed. Hey, we go. Building up some good money here. I don't know how much a simoleon is meant to equate to in real life. When I work as a gardener in real life, if I earns, I don't know what it is. Assuming it's meant to be the equivalent of dollars, if I earns two dollars a weed, that'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we're making good pace here. The mower controls fairly well, so uh, obviously it can be a bit tricky if you get it stuck in a corner. It going, doesn't do circles very well, but your know, controls are relatively responsive. Uh, you can't mow all the weeds, they just keep growing back. Yeah, you know, there's no... I suppose, with a bit of luck, because I suppose they're slightly randomly paced, placed, you could probably actually get quite a lot of money doing this. Presuming they all grew near each other. And there we go. 
And they've been promoted to level 2, Grass Gobbler. So if I just open my options here and go to Jobs, you can see basically what you need for later levels in the job. So we need to score 150 points. We've already got the two mechanical skills, so we should be able to do that next time we go mowing. Yep, cut the grass. Oh no, the chickens have been let loose. <laughs> no, not the chickens. Alright, how do I catch a chicken? Okay, so we just need to go find eight chickens and give them to him. Okay, uh, first thing I think we'll probably go eat something, because our stats are a little low. So let's get our stats up. And then we'll go chicken hunting. So because we now have money, that cost, you know, cost 40 simoleons to make food. So I'm guessing that isn't equated to any sort of real world money, because I can't think how we're spending 40 of anything to just eat. Let's uh, get some music going. Get our entertainment up. There you go, nice and entertained, now we can go catch some chickens. I do that when I'm bored, I dance for three minutes, and then do nothing. Okay, the chickens are scattered all over the place. Um, listen for the clucking, that's a pretty good indicator of where they are. Not all of them cluck, though. So, um, the bales are actually gone now, we can leave the farm. But first, let's get the chickens that are on the farm. Uh, one's gen- yep, there's one. Put it in our pocket. I think there's another one in here normally. Yep. I think it's only these two in here. The clucking carries on anyway. So that's two chickens. Let's uh, head on out and find the others. Oh, there's one. No, come back. Let's check my inventory, see what the chickens are about. Plump little chicken from your Uncle Hayseed's farm, don't get any ideas. Alright, bring eight chickens to our uncle and find Detective Dan is our goal. Uh, hey, we're actually on a uh, chapter two, it looks like. Yeah, I mean, it's chapter two. There's five chapters and each one takes a bit longer. Um, Alright, that there's a cog. There are certain items that you can find and basically just give to be recycled, so... Cogs are one of them. Hey, I made it into town. Uh, I think there's another chicken there. Along with a tin can. That's another recyclable. Let's pick that up. Let's go have a look around. Alright, this is the bar. Has a chicken in it. <laughs> um, <laughs> we could sell the chickens for nothing, um... I'm going to buy some food here. Um, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Just a bit of food to buy, some entertaining stuff to do. And if this guy will get out of the doorway, we can talk to him. Let's just introduce ourselves. This is Dusty Hog, the biker. Why am I bugging him? So I think he likes it if you act tough. That's his thing. So Yeah, you remind me of my favourite wrestler. Yeah, he likes, you know, tough guys. Right, you. Okay, this girl is a musician. I... I guess you talk about music stuff. Okay, she didn't like that, I don't think. <laughs> um, if she get... If we had a higher relationship, you could say that. If you try it now, she'll just get mad, so... Yeah, try not to annoy them too much. There are points in some missions where you will have to annoy people, but don't do it yet. Alright, there's another chicken. Can't go any further because these bikes are blocking the road. Grab a can. And a chicken. How many more do we need? One more chicken somewhere. Still need to find that detective as well. He should be around someplace. 
There's Dusty. Let's have another chat with him. <laughs> I think sometimes insulting him actually works because he likes that you're brave enough to try and well, you know, actually insult him. <laughs> okay, so we've got Cowgirl. Uh, she likes cowboy stuff. <laughs> yeah, most of these characters are fairly uh, two-dimensional, but it works. Okay, here we've got the shop. Nora Zealot. Um, so she wants people to vote for her, I, th I think. Yeah, it looks like everyone in here supports you. <laughs> Comments like yours give me reason to pretend to cry and put on a fake smile. So she likes you being a voting citizen first, I guess. Uh, here we've got the just general goods. You get a random selection of four things each day that you can buy. So Obviously we don't have enough money for any of them, but you never really know what he's going to have, so you've got to check in every day. Uh, Claire Clutterbell, I think. Yep, she's a poet. <laughs> uh, she likes us being artsy, I suppose. Let's go and try and find that last chicken, and then I think I'll call it a part because I'm going for 20 minutes now. There's always one. Oh, it's right there. That one always evades me because it's covered by the trees, so you can't really see it. And let's give the chickens to our uncle. Give all eight of the chickens. Okay, so that's that goal complete. Um, next time we'll go try and find the detective to find out who left these chickens out in the first place. Hopefully we can catch them so they aren't doing it again. I'll see you then. Goodbye.